वंस अपॉन ए टाइम देर वॉज ए किंग ही हैड ए मिनिस्टर द किंग्स मिनिस्टर वॉज वेरी वाइज ही ऑफन यूज टू से दैट वॉट एवर हैपन्स हैपन्स फॉर गुड वंस द किंग वॉज क्लीनिंग इज फॉल्ट द मिनिस्टर वॉज ऑल्सो सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू हिम सडनली द स्वॉड फेल ऑन द किंग्स फीट एंड वन फिंगर ऑफ इज फूट वॉज कट ऑफ जस्ट दैन द मिनिस्टर सेड वॉट एवर हैपन्स हैपन्स फॉर गुड द किंग वॉज वेरी एंग्री ऑन हेयरिंग दिस ही आज द मिनिस्टर दैट माई टॉय फिंगर इज कट ऑफ एंड यू आर सेंग दैट इट हैज हैपन फॉर गुड वट इज गुड इन इट द किंग गॉट एंग्री एंड ऑर्डर द मिनिस्टर टू बी इम प्रेजेंट इन जेल द मिनिस्टर डिड नॉट फील सोरो फॉर दिस एंड वाइल लिविंग फॉर जेल ही अगेन सेड वट एवर हैपन्स हैपन्स फॉर गुड द किंग वॉज अमेज टू हेयर दिस ही थॉट दैट हाउ स्ट्रेंज पर्सन ही इज ही इज गोइंग टू जेल एंड सेंग दैट वट एवर हैपन्स हैपन्स फॉर गुड एनी वेज टू मंथ्स पास्ट आफ्टर दिस इंसिडेंट वन डे द किंग वेंट फॉर हंटिंग विद हिज सोल्जर्स राइडिंग ऑन हॉर्सेज दे ऑल वेंट इन साइड द डेंस फॉरेस्ट द किंग वाइल चेजिंग अ डियर वेंट मोर इन टू द डीप फॉरेस्ट एंड गॉट सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम हिज सोल्जर्स हाउ एवर ही कुड नॉट कैच द डियर बट ही लॉस्ट हिज वे एंड गॉट लॉस्ट इन द डेंस फॉरेस्ट वेन द किंग रियलाइज दिस He started looking for a way out of the forest. Suddenly, the king was surrounded by a group of tribals living in that forest. The tribe of those tribals was neither in the king's kingdom nor did they recognize the king. So they captured the king and took him to their tribe. Those tribals were looking for a human whom they could kill and sacrifice to appease their deity. The king was pleading them to release him but those tribals did not understand the language of the king they started playing drums in happiness they bathed the king dressed him in new clothes put a rosary of flowers around his neck and made him ready to be sacrificed just when they were about to kill the king the head of the tribe saw that one finger of the king's feet was cut off seeing this he ordered all the drums to be stopped and said this man cannot be sacrificed because he is incomplete and if an incomplete human is sacrificed the deity will become angry instead of being happy so they decided to leave the king the king happily returned to his palace after coming back he thought that if one finger of my foot had not been cut off then those tribals would have killed me it means minister was right whatever happened happened for good he ordered the soldiers to get the minister out of the jail he gave him back his minister's position and asked minister tell me that my finger was cut on that day and it happened for my good i have understood this but you were jailed for 2 months and you had to suffer so much what good happened to you the minister smiled and said my lord i was your prime minister and i used to be always with you had i been not in jail then i would have been with you that day also they left you after seeing your cut off finger but sir my body was complete and if i was with you they would have definitely sacrificed me that's why it was good that i was not with you that day and i was in jail it saved your life and saved my life also that's why i always say that whatever happens happens for good if we see in our lives we will find that there are times in our life when we feel that something really bad is happening to us or this should not have happened but after some time if we look back we feel that whatever happened at that time happened for good in fact we try to judge each event with our intelligence 
but in reality our intelligence is also limited we cannot judge fairness or unfairness of an event with our limited intelligence the whole world is based on karma he who does good deeds gets happiness and he who does bad deeds gets sorrow so if you are going through a sad phase then always remember that your bad karma is being spent and nature is taking you toward progress all the time by giving you the fruit of your bad karma this creation has not been created by our enemy that's why nothing wrong can happen in this world so remove the thought from your mind that anything bad can happen to you and always remember that whatever happens happens for good